I know it probably wasn't pretty to go back and rewatch the West Virginia game, but what, what were just the biggest problems in that one? Well, we just can't give up explosive plays at the rate that we were giving them up. I mean, that's the bottom line. And, and uh, when you look at that thing, there was a lot of actually really good things. And, but when you play really good ball for four snaps and on the fifth one you give up an explosive play, it, it's not going to work. And, and it, it was not things that aren't fixable, technique errors, maybe a communication bust. Um, but it was, it was frustrating to watch us because that's something that we hadn't done for a while. Uh, Coach Kleiman mentioned that um, A.J. Parker was maybe uh, back practicing this week. Is he on track to return this week for you? Yeah, yeah, he'll, uh, uh, he's been practicing. Uh, we'll see how he looks on Saturday. Okay. And um, also, when you think back to last year's Oklahoma State game, what can maybe you guys do better against Chuba Hubbard? Well, I don't know if we did anything well against Chuba last year. I mean, it was a, you know, and, and to be fair to last year, it was, um, you know, we were at a point where we just still were, were, were budding, so to speak. I mean, we, we didn't really have a great grasp of what we were doing. Um, made a lot of mistakes all over the place. We still uh, um, didn't have enough knowledge, I guess, to make adjustments that were great adjustments at the time. And so, you know, when he got off and running, we just didn't have a lot of answers. And we just got to do a better job uh, structurally than we did a year ago. All right. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. Fitz? Hey, Coach. Uh, what is most challenging about this Oklahoma State offense? The, the challenging part is that they've got three really explosive players at all three level, levels of position. You know, I mean, you, you got to – you got a, obviously a tremendously solid ground game uh, with maybe one of the best backs in the country. You've got a uh, very dangerous receiving threat, maybe one of the best in the country. And you get a quarterback that can also run and creates problems in the scramble. And so they can attack you from every which way you can be attacked. And that's the, that's the challenge. Was there any lessons to be learned from what Texas did to Oklahoma State? I they did a decent job of um, keeping – uh, Spencer Sanders in the pocket at times. I mean, I know that at times he got loose. Um, but we're, we're, you know, I do appreciate um, having Texas now uh, doing what they do defensively because it at least gives us somewhat of a baseline of how teams might, uh, might look at us and attack us um, as opposed to some three down team that runs a bunch of, of, of multiple coverages. And so, um, you know, we're us. We do what we do. Um, and so I, I – you know, um, in, a, in a short answer, probably no. <laughs> um, was it tackling, did tackling kind of break down for you at West Virginia, just the fundamentals of the yard of tackling? You know, I wouldn't even say necessarily the contact part of tackling, but some of our angles were really poor. Um, some of our uh, pursuit angles, and we, we talk a lot about leveraging the ball carrier. We didn't do a very good job of that at times. Um, you know, it's, it was worse than it had been for the last five games or so. Okay, thanks, Coach. Michael. Hey, Joe. Uh, your linebackers seem to get caught in no man's land in a lot of plays last week. How do you remedy that against a team that likes to spread you out and make you play in space? Well, the big thing is you can't conflict them, um, you, you know, from a coach's standpoint. I mean, you can't. Uh, it's this or this. It's not this. You know, I mean, we, we have to define where we want them to be, and then it's up to them to get them there. I, I don't, uh, um, you know, they got to trust what they see. Um, they got to trust the keys that they uh, are, are given, and, and they just got to rip their fits. Thank you. Ryan? Hey, Joe. Um, the other day, you know, Coach Kleiman said that he thought Drew Wiley had been the MVP of your unit so far this season. I guess not that you didn't expect him to be a solid contributor this year, but I guess has he even exceeded what your expectations maybe were for him? He has. I, I wouldn't trade him for a defensive tackle in the league. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's not a flashy guy. He's not a rah-rah guy, and he doesn't want to be. He doesn't need that. And, you know, he just wants to go out there and play and do his job and, and be the best he can for his team, and I appreciate that about him, and, and so do all of his teammates.